I didn't know that. Dan, uh, shout out, if you go look at the K- K- Kino Casino, uh, they did a video talking about that whole deal. If you want to see that stuff, you can go see it. But I believe that stream is still live, and it's bizarre. Um, like I said, man, I'm not going to go into mo- – I, I can't. I quite literally cannot go into – it would be ill-advised. But another thing that's ill-advised, guys, if you're going to – and, and I'm, I don't care how you feel about the government – but what I would not advise that you do is if you are going to do things that um, will get you potentially arrested, don't record yourself and don't tweet and don't. That's advice that can apply to anybody. It's just not a good idea. Um, you should not do that. It's, it's, um, just don't do that. It's just not, just not a smart thing. It is, uh, ill-advised and and just please understand that. And I I brought this earlier. Again, this is not something that's unique to anybody's given scenario. This is regardless especially when it comes to like legal matters, doesn't matter whether civil or criminal, the internet is not going to save you. Okay. Uh, it will be used against you for sure. 1000%. But it, the whole like (laughs) tactic of trying to rely on like being hyped up and, 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 and gassed up by the opinion of very, not knowledgeable people on the internet and thinking that that's how it's going to play out in the real world is not anything that I would advise that you tend to. Um, I say this as a person with, I think a lot of people think I have a lawyer guys. I have a stable of lawyers and the bigger that you get, the more that that's appropriate because any lawyer will tell you they don't, they don't, they don't have a level of expertise in everything. They don't practice in everything. I have a contract lawyer. I have a lawyer that deals with the IP uh, the side of things. My actual general business lawyer. So how things are generally set up with 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 the business, uh, as well as a contract, uh, like an actual contract lawyer that, that's actually crafting a lot of our. Are, are contracts in addition to ones that have that, that that apply that when there's criminal stuff involved and to make sure and a lot of that's CYA that's kind of how you have to be um you guys saw as of recent uh, there's no no news that I'm not telling you news there was a recent thing that happened that involved myself legally right um and the reason why we got out of that situation unscathed is because I have a team of lawyers that made sure everything is taken care of. Therefore, we would get out unscathed. If I didn't do that, well, I probably could have lost a lot of money in the business in general. But the reason that doesn't happen is because we did our due diligence. So that that's why it's so um, important. Like someone asking the chat, can you still use the the ISOM uh, IP without paying? The, uh, well, it's ours. <laughs> why would I need to pay to use our our, our stuff? Uh, and again, the reason why stuff like that happens is because well, we did our due diligence, or they did their due diligence, and that's why it's important to have guys that um, actually know what they're doing uh, involved. We got out of that unscathed. Both parties obviously were walking. It's not a secret. Everybody left. We operate in good faith. Everybody left um, that situation. Um, and we just promised to stay in each other's lanes. Uh, so, and then the reason why that's able to happen is because, well, I have a team of competent lawyers that know what they're doing. And it's very important. Reason I bring that up is because you, it's not about necessarily being on the defense. It's about, CYA, and that stands for, for those that don't know what that means, cover your ass. So problems, should they arrive, you're able to deal with the situation accordingly. 
But yeah, I would not advise that you get out there and um, cover yourself doing foolish things because I'm telling you right now when you have, and I've been there, right? Not, not just, not saying as things as of recently, right? Cause it's been a while since I've been physically like in a court house, but I can tell you what does not work saying that the internet told me otherwise that's not a that's not a proper defense <laughs> and it's sad that i have to say that but they don't care <laughs> the real world does not accommodate you in that regard so be wise in your actions and uh what you do on the internet especially um just life life has a way man and Akarika said, but but your honor, the interweb said, yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> That's not a not a defense. Uh, I, but I got all the views and the retweet. They don't care. When I said this, not how it works. Junior with a five said, I can't believe someone went to jail because of ripper derangement syndrome. It would be sad to see if it wasn't so funny. That's a good point. Um, I do think that it is a little silly. And I brought this point up before that, you know, we were, we're to this point uh, because ideally it, it's over comic books and you don't you don't want it to be escalated to where someone's, you know, going to risk being arrested, going to jail or, or prison for that matter over comics. Um, and this is, you know, again, shout out to the Kino uh, Casino guys that when they were talking about kind of my situation, they brought that up. It's like like. Like, even if we took them for their, like, words, some of this, it's not worth the reaction that some of this stuff gets. Like, 3D assets and my, my, my DMCAs, and which, again, falsehoods uh, surrounding that. But it's it's just, okay, even if it was true, which it's not, the narrative is wrong, but it's true. Is it worth going to jail over? I don't think so. I I, I personally don't think it's worth escalating to 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 do any of that i don't personally believe that but it, it is sad that we've got to that point and it should not be that way and perhaps there will be a day where people realize and we'll look back on this maybe five years from now and say that was a very stupid era not from us but just a lot of the narratives and stuff that were surrounding it it's just not that serious and it shouldn't be um, it shouldn't get to that point to where people have to take it serious like I have had it shouldn't it shouldn't ever get to that point. It's about fun. It's about comics and bros. Like let's 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 focus on that. Red uh comics with a five. Don't you love it when cartoon villains reveal all their plans publicly? That part is almost like something out of a comic book. Like it's the comically foolish criminal. Uh, if only people were uh, were as brainless as cartoons. Oh wait, 